That's a ribbon snake. It's a sack knight, a peninsula S ribbon. Yep. So, so you can tell it's a ribbon, not a garter, because it has a spot right in front of its eye. Okay. Even though they're the same genus. You want to get, 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 get musked by it? You'll get to know them because they're way th thinner. Oh, oh yeah, because I yeah now that I can see the light, I can kind of see where it would look like a garter snake. Mm -hmm. They're related. They're both the same genus. Of these, these are even more aquatic than garters. So we know there's some water around here. Here's some snake tracks. And you can tell which way it's moving by the way this push off is. So we're following the tracks because we've actually found snakes by doing this off the side of the road. A couple of pine snakes doing that, and that track kind of looks pine snake. Damn, we just missed it, man. Damn. Can't do this. This is uh, not cool. Okay, go ahead. You want me to hold it? I got it. Ah, don't want me. It's huge. You gotta go over the top. Did I get him? You oh, go you got him. So I'm gonna go up to North Florida because of the way things are here in Central Florida. Um, not to say it's any less rainy, hot, humid, buggy up there. But if I'm gonna herb, I'm gonna herb up there. There's more diversity in what I can find. Of course, I'm always looking for upland species. So that's on my mind always <laughs> when I'm herping. So anyways, I'm gonna see what I can do this afternoon on the way up there and then tomorrow spend the whole day into the evening and then come home. Garrett is supposed to meet me up there tonight after he gets off of work. So I've got I got about three hours ahead of me here, but I'm going to herp on the way up. Um, so hopefully I can find something on the way up instead of just finding maybe something tomorrow. So let's see what happens and uh, let's hope for the best. was a perfect stick. What is it? What is it, Garrett? Need to go for us. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, slid on. What's that? Sorry, slid out. Oh, probably. I don't know. No, that's you can see the feet from the oh. from a. Uh, be a uh, armadillo because you can see the tail oh, drag. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe those are tortoises. So cool. Outstanding. Oh, it's not. It's not too terribly baby. Nah, it's a couple years, maybe yeah. at the most. Oh really? Yeah. I've got these boards here. I'm gonna flip over. See if anything's here. I'm 
built in. Oh, look at that. A nice gray rat. That's cool. Gray rat snake, North Florida. Cool. Leave him be. Well, so far the trip has been kind of slow. Um, I just got that gray rat snake. I flipped under those boards. It's raining on and off, scattered here and there, all around, so I'm not really too excited about that. Usually stuff kind of slows down when it rains to, to, to zero. Um, so I'm kind of driving around trying to get away from where the rain is and maybe catch some stuff that might be coming on the road before the rain. That's what I'm hoping for. So let's keep our fingers crossed here. snake got a snake on the road here finally Got a uh, gray rat snake, another one. Smaller than the one that was under the boards. A little smaller. These guys are pretty cool. I always like gray rat snakes. North of the Suwannee River in Florida. Cool snakes. Not colorful, but there's just something about the gray, the blotches. They're just really cool. Let this guy go and move on. Stip the mud. Go that way. today by my house 
I'm gonna let two uh, baby stink pot turtles go. When I was uh, out kayaking uh, on the Hillsborough River about a month ago on the video I made, I found two eggs that had washed out from the rain. And I knew they were turtle eggs. So I brought them with me and I hatched them out. They ended up being tiny stink pots. So I'm gonna let them go here, this creek by my house. Um, I've seen mud turtles and other turtles in it. So it should be fine. There's a creek. I'm gonna go down there and let them go. So I'm underneath the, the bridge here at the creek. Here is the little stink pot. There's two of them in here. They're so cool when there's this size. They're just tiny. Tiny, tiny little guys. So, I'll take one out and show you this one. So look at the size of this guy. Just teeny tiny. They're so cool. Let him go. Here. He will find his way to the water. Here he goes. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> Here's the other one. It kind of this markings on the belly look cool. Stink pot turtle. We got a blue stripe ribbon snake here. That's pretty cool. Very colorful. Which way was he going? Well, let's let him go flesh. Okay. Now we need a blue stripe garter. Just like